Hello and welcome to our very first episode of Gross View Gossip. My name is Tamara Hopkins. I am one of the assistant principals at Gross View Public School and I'm very excited to share with you our first segment which focuses on captain disposition, something that our students and teachers have been working on since last year. And I thought, who better to tell you about it than our students? It is open-minded, flexible, risk-taker, resourceful, reflective, ubiquitous, and patient and persistent. There's open-minded, there's flexible, uh, risk-taker, um, resourceful, patient and persistent, ubiquitous, and reflective. Flexible is when you know that you're not always going to get your way because you're, the world doesn't revolve around you. But even when you don't get your way, you can be flexible and adapt to someone else's point of view because that point of view might be better. You can reflect off your work and you can even reflect off things you're doing at outside of school. So you can reflect off dancing, swimming, football, soccer with how you're doing that sport or with how you're participating so you can improve. When one thing doesn't work, so you have to have other ideas as well as that just one idea. So you don't stick with one idea, but you also have other ideas as plan B and stuff. You take risks without knowing and you give it a go. Learn any way you want, whether it's at school, at home, or even on like a soccer field. So you don't have like pencils or something, you use someone else's pencil at ask. Always patient on with your work so you might not always get it perfect the first time and persistent means that you just keep on trying and you never give up. So the disposition I use inside of school is risk taker. I use this because sometimes I don't know if I'm going to get the answer or not but I still give it a try. And the disposition I use outside of school is resourceful because when I'm at home or when I'm playing soccer I don't always have everything I need, but I just do, do use what I do need and try my, and do my best with it. I'm reflective inside of school when I, say, make a mistake in spelling or writing and look back at it and learn from it. And I'm reflective outside of school when I, say, forget how to do something and look back at a video or photo that I've taken how to do it and relearn how to do it. And at soccer, I could be a risk taker because I say I didn't like like to do something, I can always have a try and have a go. Um, I use open-minded at school when I'm doing a science experiment and something doesn't work properly so I have to try to change it a little bit. School would be open-minded because when I'm doing my writing at school I have one idea but then I always hear people talking and if I find that that's a good idea I try and mix it up so that I can make my writing more better with that idea. Uh, I use risk taker at school by, if we're doing a test and I don't know the answer, um, I would use my head and think, and um, if I don't know, I'd take a guess. At home, you have to be open-minded um, and let like t let you, your parents tell you what to do. I and use open-minded a lot because at school I'm open-minded to others' ideas, and I can reflect off this. When I was swimming and I first tried freestyle, it was a bit hard, so I just moved on to backstroke instead. And it turns out that I was really good at that. 